Welcome to Writing Matters. My name is Vanessa, and today we're talking about the select board. Facts first. The select board is the executive branch of town government, and it consists of five elected unpaid volunteers who serve three-year terms. The select board only has three direct reports. That's the town manager, the town accountant, and town council. Everyone else on the municipal side of town government reports up through the town manager, who is responsible for all the day-to-day -day functioning of the town. Um, keep in mind that the schools, the Reading Municipal Light Department, and library all have their own separate reporting structures. So uh, the select board has multiple responsibilities. The most visible one is overseeing the town manager, um, where they set annual goals for the town manager and then review them. Another significant job is voting on the town warrant. That's the book of articles, think of it as legislation, that is put in front of town meeting, think of it as Congress. Um, this is a huge and important role because it includes everything from simple bylaw changes to the $130 million town-wide budget. Um, the board sets the tax, water, and sewer rates, um, and they're also the road commissioners. So the board controls everything from public parking to stop signs to speed limits, with some exceptions for state-managed roads. Um, they are in charge of how town land is used. So for example, the rules for affecting Birch Meadow um, and how undeveloped land, town land gets used. Um, they also issue liquor license, licenses and set all fees issued by the town. Um, and they also accept any gifts provided to the town. We see this a lot with gifts coming from sports organizations to improve specific recreational facilities. Um, select board is also responsible for approving all union contracts for municipal unions, um, although the town manager acts um, as the select board's delegate and handles the negotiations. The select board also has a responsibility with far reaching impact, and that's the job of appointing volunteers to the vast majority of the board's committees and commissions. So this can affect things like town bylaws, cemetery rules, use of recreation space, um, climate advisory suggestions. I mean, we're talking really broad community-wide implications based on who they appoint. So here's my two cents. This isn't just a rubber stamping board. The select board can impact every aspect of our community. And what's important to know is that it's not just what it has the authority to do, but in what it can influence. So examples here are making green initiatives or diversity and inclusion practices a priority for town staff and making them goals for the town manager to meet. Um, the select board can also advocate for issues at the state level. Examples here are for additional state funding or affordable housing programs, addiction treatment facilities, green energy infrastructure, or something that happened just a few years ago, the road diet on Route 28, which is a state managed road. Um, in that situation, a select board member had reached out to the Department of Transportation and they invited, and they then invited the select board to participate in meetings and discussions. It was a really great example of a partnership between local and state governments. So who fills these seats has a significant, far-reaching, and long-term personal and financial implication for all Reading residents. And the great news is you can watch what they're up to. Um, the select board meetings are open to the public. You can watch them in person or on RCTV by Verizon and Comcast um, or on the RCTV Studios YouTube channel. Let's get involved, Reading. Uh, thanks for watching. Follow the YouTube channel Running Matter 01867 to get updates when new videos are available. Thanks.